Big shout out to Colorado, man, Denver, the box. I love y'all. Keep rocking. We are next, all right? We don't need to sound like anybody else. Sound like us. We gonna be the next ones, I promise you. Uh, shout out to the Mile High Minute, man. Okay, keep rocking. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep, keep grinding and showing love to the community, to hip hop community, to Colorado. That's what we need. The haters, man. Keep doing what you're doing because I respect it and a lot of people else. Minute number one podcast in the universe. We live downtown Denver. Yeah. With one of the greatest DJs ever come out of the Mile High City, man. DJ Coast. What's the word? I, I don't know about all that, man, but what's good? <laughs> Shaman man, DJ Coast, man. Salute to my guy, man. Mile High Minute. Y'all been rocking for a minute. We've been trying to link up for a minute, dog. So this is dope that we're, that we're able to do it, man. I'm happy we're able to do it for sure. Hell yeah, man. I appreciate you for coming on the show. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Shit, man. We've been, yeah, it's like a real recognized, real type of thing, man. I've seen you do what you guys been doing. Yeah. We've been seeing what I've been doing with like the podcast and the radio stuff dj stuff man so yeah this is dope that we we're able to get you know finally get linked up so no, it's cool sure. it's cool oh yeah well i seen uh um, the show i think you do with paul padilla right that's his work. yeah that's man it. so um i got a radio show 92.9 fm man uh denver open media it's called the box uh we're doing it every monday um i recently had paul padilla on the show man um before that a quap um Tonight, <laughs> I got my man Brent's coming in. I got Bugs coming in. Yeah. So yeah, man, it's cool. It's actually um, it's a unique little thing that I'm doing. Um, it's, I'm saying it's Denver's only sports talk slash local music show on the radio right now, man. We oh, talk yeah. about sports from a fan's perspective, and we play Colorado music, man. You know how we do it. Always got put on for the box. No, for real. Okay, man. Well, this is our first interview, so let's dive into your backstory a little bit. I are you originally born in Colorado? Yeah, man. Colorado, born and raised, man. Um, I got Colorado tattooed on my back. Despite some of the haters making posts saying I'm not from Colorado, <laughs> you better get your stories correct because I'm from here, man. Um, I went to high school in Boulder. Um, grew up, man, kind of all over the place. Uh, moved around Arvada, Westminster, Broomfield, Boulder, like all over the place down lived in aurora denver yeah. yeah man i'm from colorado i've been doing the dj thing man close to like i'm coming up on about 10 years now solid like really in the clubs and okay. doing that whole thing um so i'm coming up on about 10 years doing that um been doing the radio hosting thing for about eight of those 10 years mm -hmm. and uh yeah man you know my, my whole thing is i'm just trying to represent for colorado baby that's it yeah i mean uh, when it's all said and done and they write the history books of Colorado hip hop. I just want me a little blurb. Says, "Yo, shout out to DJ Coast. Thanks, he man. tried to help. You know what I'm saying? Get, get Colorado put on. Man, that's it. That's all I need. I don't need to be nothing more than just. Not yo, Coast was DJ. one of the ones. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to be the. Nah, man. We'll leave that for for the for some of the heavy hitters in Denver, man. But nah, all I want is just a, them, just man. a nod, man. I just want a nod saying, yo, shout out to Coast. He put on for the box, man. He was always repping Colorado. So as long as I get that dog, I'm cool with that." No, you definitely one of the heavy hitters out here, for real, man. I appreciate I know, it. I know you came out that list, and you didn't put yourself on there, which is like respect. Oh but yeah, I understand that. You don't want to be biased. I get it. But right, right. If I were to drop a, a top twenty-five DJ list in Denver, you would hands down be on there for sure. Okay. <laughs> what? Hey, man, I appreciate that. Yeah, man. Those lists, man. Those lists are tricky, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like I have fun with it. I put them out, but some people took them way too serious, yeah, yeah. dude. And I was like, <laughs> come on, man. You guys are getting. That's you guys are getting mad about that stuff, but yeah, man, I, I appreciate it. You know, I've been doing my thing, and if people want to recognize me for what I do, then cool. And some people don't, some people do, man. You know how yeah. it goes. No, for sure. You know what I mean, especially like in in the content creation game, you feel me? Some people love and respect what you do, oh, and yeah. then other people are like, that ain't nothing. He ain't doing nothing. Right. Yeah. Always gonna have that, man. <laughs> yeah. It's when they stop hating on you, then then it's like, you well, worried. maybe I'm not doing yeah. nothing, right? Like no one's yeah. even thinking about me. You feel me? No, that's facts. Yeah. Okay. So grew up in Colorado. Um, were you like into sports or anything before you got into music? Or? Oh yeah, yeah, man. Just like every, you know, or most, <laughs> I should say, just like most kids, most boys. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Playing the NBA, playing the NFL. Um, so I'm a hometown kid. Everybody. Uh, I'm hometowns all day. Broncos, Buffs, Nuggets. Yeah. I just can't rock with the Rockies, man. I'm a Yankee fan. Yeah. I know a lot of people give me shit for that. Um, really, what that is, though, like, so before the Rockies, when it was the Zephyrs, yeah. like, I'm showing my age right 93, now. So. Right. But I'm, yeah, so w w 
Denver used to have a pro, a semi-pro team, the Zephyrs, yeah. and they used to do exhibition games with the Yankees. And I seen a couple of them live, so I was like, yo, like, okay. right? And that's the thing, everyone's like, oh, you jumped on the Yankee bandwagon. I was like, dog, I liked them like in the 80s, bro, and they yeah. were ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So don't tell me that, but yeah, I'm from Colorado, I'm into sports, um, I'm Colorado teams, everything, man. Season tickets to the Broncos, Buff games all the time, Nugget games all the time. I'm not too into hockey, but I rock with the Avs, man. Anybody that's right. doing something in Denver, I'm I'm about that. I'm with them. I yeah. can respect that. I'm a I'm for any Colorado team, but I'm a Cowboys fan. I like the Lakers too. Oh, okay, I, okay. I, you, know, you know what I'm saying? But I still rock with all the Colorado teams. Yeah, but yeah. It, like you say, I grew up. You know, my dad is still put me on them, so I don't want to switch. Sure. You know, but hey, as long as you ride with your team, I respect anybody whose team it was. The only people I don't respect are the people that be like, "Well, I got two or three or four or five teams." It's like, yeah. stop, stop. Yeah. Pick a team and ride with them. If they suck, ride with them. If they good, right. then ride with them even harder. But ride with your team. So if it's the Cowboys. Hey man, not everyone's perfect, though. Right. <laughs> yeah, but it's still like I'll still cheer for Colorado teams, just especially since I got a mile high mini, I, just because I want to see the, the state win. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. But you know, you gotta stick. With it's good for business too, man. When the right. teams are good, like it's good. Everybody be happy. Everybody wanted to do events. Everybody wanted to do, you know, all that stuff, man. When they right. suck, everyone's like, oh, wow. yeah, like nobody want to come outside when the Broncos suck. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it's tough right now. Man. For real. We'll, we'll definitely dive back into some sports here in a little bit too. Yeah. But okay, so into sports. Were you like playing sports too? Yeah, man. Played like? all through high okay. school, bro. Um, basketball. I tried my hand at football, dude. I'm gonna be honest with you. Football ain't my thing, dog. Like, yeah. I could drop back and throw, but when we put the pads on and dude started sticking me, I was like, nah, I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna play basketball. I'm gonna yeah. play baseball. But you know, I played I played all three sports in high school for a while. Um, what positions? Uh, so I was point guard in basketball. I played center field and pitcher on baseball, and uh, uh, I was the third string quarterback and like the backup corner. Yeah. I just didn't want to hit, dude. Yeah. I yeah. just couldn't tackle. I, I respect you for real. <laughs> I'm, I was like that too when I was younger. I well, that's like, I wasn't always this. I wasn't always this uh, plentiful in high school, man. I was. <laughs> I was a little skinny twig in high school, man, and yeah, it was not it wasn't a good look for me in high school. I was like a buck twenty soaking wet, so you can imagine how that goes. Right, right. Okay. What uh what high school did you go to? Or did you go to multiple? Yeah, so I actually I did, man. I started off in Centaurus, which is in Lafayette. I went to Monarch High School for a little bit, and then I finished at a, at a private academy in Boulder, man. So oh, okay. like so that's why I said I went to high school in Boulder. Um I that's went, why you're big buzz fan. Well, yeah. Oh, I mean, well, so I was going to the Buff. So both my parents graduated from CU, oh, okay. um, and you know, ever since I was little, man, we was going to Buff games, and you know, that's just one of those things, man. It just always stuck with me, and it's it, again, man, they're another one where it's hard to root for them right yeah, now. Yeah, they're but hey, I, I tell people all the time, ain't nothing beat a game day in Boulder for sure, man. You go to Boulder, see Ralphie run, flat irons, the whole nine. Yeah. They, there's not a single college in the, in the country that tops that shit. Oh, yeah, I need to go. I need to go to one of those games. Yeah, I, for I sure. I went to some when they play CSU at uh, Empower. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's cool, but not nah, you got to go to Boulder, Boulder man. The yeah. band, Ralphie, the whole nine. It's an experience, it's dude. The okay. campus is beautiful, man. It's it's it's, it's amazing. Okay, yeah. Okay. So you play sports some, and then like was. When, I guess, what was your transition into becoming a into DJ, the DJ and stuff? making music? Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> honestly, man, like, near the end of high school, you know, I, I, <laughs> I always tell people I got into DJing because I always like being the center of attention. Yeah. And the DJ, you know, yeah. he's, he's the guy he's at the party, the party, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I kind of tried my hand at that a little bit, high school, after high school, just messing around with house parties, playing music. Obviously, I've always loved music. I've always been very eclectic, liked all different kinds of music. I really didn't get switched into being like a professional DJ until I linked up with my mentor, DJ Dings. Shout out to Dings. Um, he kind of put me on, man. He was like, yo, I'm DJing this thing. You want to come with me? I rolled with him and, and ended up turning into like Dings and Coast DJ team thing. And uh, I went from playing like three songs while he like went to the bathroom or went to holla at a girl yeah. <laughs> to, you know, me getting my own equipment. And now, you know what I'm saying? I'm rocking in Lakewood, he's rocking in Aurora, same night. Things and coast type of thing turned into it. And uh, 
it just it snowballed from there you know what i mean yeah. um i've always loved music but i really I, I always tell people man i was late to the game i really didn't get into it until like my 30s dude honestly yeah yeah um but once i got into it i realized you know i am late to the game i'm not super duper with the cutting and the scratching like some of the other like the battle djs and stuff yeah and obviously i hadn't ha i didn't have a name for myself but i saw a market of local talent doing shows rocking shows and i was like all right well i, I like this music yeah. i'm gonna rock with these guys and find my lane and that's honestly really how my name grew in the city is just working with local artists started rocking shows putting on my own shows that graduated into podcasting having those shows playing songs interviewing artists and it just snowballed into doing all these things i've i've had the privilege to do um but that's that's really some djs will be like bro i've been doing this thing for like 20 30 years you got to earn your name in the game and i truly believe that and i respect all the djs ahead of me that put in that serious time of rocking on turntables crates all that shit. like i, I right. got nothing but respect for them for that um I, I kind of i guess fast forwarded a little or jumped or whatever you want to call it because i found a lane that not a lot of djs were rocking with and that was showing love to local artists and really doing that right everybody else was doing the clubs and i did the clubs i did the bars yeah. but i was really focused on doing shows throwing shows because you know there wasn't a ton of djs that were doing that right. you know what i mean so, so that that's was like your twist your exactly yeah yeah okay. and honestly like i said man i know a lot of djs have a problem with like yo coach didn't put in the work that yeah the squizzies and the k-tones and dj beds and all these huge dj names that you hear around the city chones and those guys yeah. like they've been doing it for years and years and years and they've been rocking on the radio for years and i got nothing but love and respect for them and one day i hope i could be mentioned with them but like i said i found a lane and i was like i right, i'm gonna do this and i did it and i made a name for myself and yeah i would like to say you know I, i've earned my respect for that in that aspect for sure oh yeah okay. yeah and it, do you just go by dj coast or dj coast with just, just DJ Coast, man. I mean, my, okay. my handle on uh, Instagram is DJ Coast 5280. Um, but other than that, man, I mean, I just put the 5280 because I'm Colorado. You know what I'm saying? I rep right. Denver. I rep the Mile High City. And that's how people know me. There's a ton of DJ Coasts around. Like, there's yeah. big ones in Arizona. It's like an EDM DJ. He's got like 5 million followers or some wild stuff. And he's DJ Coast. Same spelling the whole nine. Yeah. So I had to yeah. separate myself, obviously, within Denver. And so that's why I put the 5280 on it. But everybody knows me as DJ Coast or Coast. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. What were you, uh, so you said you kind of started DJing in your 30s, right? Yeah. What were you up to in your 20s, just working like right Just working, clubs? man, working. And <laughs> I was in the clubs. I was doing all the things that 20 year olds do downtown, yeah. chasing girls, getting into trouble, yeah. you know, had a kid at 23. So you know how that goes, man. Just. I've always had a love for music. I've always, you know, like I said, I used to go to the clubs all the time. And I always respected the DJs and what they did. And even to a, a, an extent, even a little bit of some groovy shit, I'd be in the <laughs> DJ booth like, hey, what's up, dog? Yeah. Yo, this is dope, blah, 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 right? But, you I know. I feel like you, anyone who's starting out in their music career, you almost kind of have to do that a little bit. You yeah. don't have to, but yeah. to kind of get the groundwork in, you know what I'm saying? You kind of got to, like, people's bitch to a certain extent for a little bit yeah terms, yeah yeah at least did. from my perspective that's what i had to do a little bit I no i'm know. how i started with dings like dings is my boy i've been friends with him yeah. since high school but in reality he asked me to come because he wanted a roadie like he had to bring his own speakers yeah. and he wanted somebody to help him carry speakers in and set up right so i did that for like a solid like six months i didn't get paid he was like yo i'll buy you a couple beers and you can tell the girls at the bar that you're the DJ. All right, cool. Yeah. Like, I was yeah. cool with that. Right. But yeah, man, like, you got to put in your time. You got to put in your work. That's what we did, man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, in the 20s, I was just kicking it, dude. Yeah. Just kicking it being a 20 year old. That's real. Okay. What made you want to start taking DJing serious? Was it just like you were hearing Colorado artists? You're like, all right, they sound dope? Or, or what really inspired you? Yeah. So. so Again, I love rocking a party. I love music. I love having a little bit that sounds e egotistical. I love having that power, yeah. honestly, right? To know that I can 
mix in a record, play certain songs, and like control the crowd, make people dance, make people go, oh, I haven't heard this in a while. Yeah. That mix was dope, whatever. Like, I love being able to rock a party. So that is really what made me fall in love with it. The, the, the performance aspect and like the, the local artists and stuff, I did. I really thought that there was some really dope local talent when I first jumped in and they was cool. They was like, yo, you want to play my music? I bet. And they was giving me music and they would show up to the bars and like they genuinely showed me love. So I was like, well, this is cool. Yeah. Like, you know, so um, I got into, I started taking the Colorado artist aspect of it serious because I recognize the talent. And I obviously, Colorado isn't looked at west coast east coast right. down south we're not looked at it the same and so i was like you know what if i can try to help that in some part, way yeah. i want to be a part of it so that's what made me really get into it but djing in general is just being able to know that you know you can make a party pop you yeah. know what i'm saying for sure i love that i love it knowing i could do that oh, yeah that's dope. okay so you said you've been in the game for 10 years at least right? 10 years yeah point. what you say is like the biggest difference between when you first started as far as the music scene as a whole out here compared to now who that's a good question man so biggest thing for me from what i can see um everyone always talks about how colorado has a crab in a bucket mentality right. or you know what i mean like there's no unity within colorado hip-hop and honestly when i first got in the game that was it was facts man that was really true a lot of people just stepping on top of each other talking shit about each other yeah. doing all that to get you know what i'm saying um now it's definitely growing it's becoming more of a community and i genuinely believe people are starting to knock down those barriers of being so clicked up and just working with everybody and trying to push the city right. um so yeah my, i always told people like yo Col denver colorado we need to have the mentality of Colorado versus everybody. I don't want to be like Atlanta. I don't want to be like the West Coast. I don't want right. to be like the East Coast. I want to be Colorado, and we all need to, you know what I'm saying, push that up. Everyone talks about it. Not everyone does it, but I have, in the 10 years I've been doing it, I have definitely seen an improvement, and I think a lot of people are, are starting to recognize that and starting to work together more. And people are, instead of hating on the Trev Riches of the world right. or Top Flight, you know, AP, all the big names that are getting like national attention, instead of hating on those guys, people are like, I, these are the guys, yeah. let's get behind them. And then, you know what I mean? After that comes the next wave and the next wave and the next wave. But right. before it was like, right? For every one person that was like, yo, Trevor just dope. There was some hater out there that was like, nah, he ain't that dope. And it's like, bro, stop, dude. He's yeah. a Grammy nominated, dog. Like, right, stop. Yeah. You just you sound like a hater now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, just give him his flowers. Like, give him his props. And it and it goes across the board, man. It's not just artists. Oh, it's yeah. DJs. It's content creators. It's platforms. It's everybody. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm doing local shows. There's 50 other DJs that do local shows. I could easily sit here and say, oh, well, this DJ is Deuce is, is whack. He's not. He's dope. And what he's doing is dope. Sure. Right? The shows that he does is dope. Right? Even guys I don't personally like, right? Antonio? I don't like that dude. I don't like that <laughs> don't dude. Get me started, man. I don't like him, he don't like me. But you know what? I respect yeah. what he's doing for Colorado hip hop. Whatever yeah. that Southwest Alliance is doing, I bet. Salute to you, dog. Right. You as a person I don't mess with, but what you're doing, if you putting Colorado hip hop on, cool, dog. I ain't got no problem with you. But that. not everybody has that. Right? Not everybody has that mentality and that's what we need. And there are I'm sure there are content people that are like Fuck Yo, buddy. yeah, fuck my <laughs> high minute. They're whack. Their interviews are done. This is that. This is that. he's a yeah. white boy. Blah, blah, blah. Shut oh, up, yeah. dude. Like, let him do his thing, bro. You've been interviewing people for I don't know how long, dog. Like, I'm on my fifth year. Going on my fifth year. Exactly, man. Like, just show love, dog. Because at this point, you just look goofy when you hating on people that have genuinely done it for years and like they can show you the resume. You feel me? I don't claim to be K Tone. I don't claim to be Beds. I don't claim to be Chones. I don't claim to be those guys, but don't try to shit on me like I'm not doing nothing either, because I'm doing right, something. Exactly, yeah. I'm and doing otherwise, something. When you do drop, when you did drop the list, it wouldn't. No one would have reacted if you didn't have some type of valid voice. In the For city. real, and then, yeah, and people are like, "Oh, his list is whack. He's invalid. He's never rocked a big show." All right, yeah. all right, man. Well, check I, the resume. That's yeah. it. But okay, so I do want to dive back in that list though. Just some of the I posted it a while back. I know you posted it, obviously, as your list, but um, 
I can't remember everyone on the list, but I'm gonna name a couple people that I do remember. Obviously the Squizzies, K Tones. I think you had Deuce on there, right? Yep. Yeah, Deuce is dope. And honestly, I'm not too tuned into like the DJs as I am more of like the media side. Sure. So, uh, I'll just have you name a couple other ones that you really like. Yeah, man. I mean, list and, and I guess some of your opinions on the list and, and why you right made it the way you did. So top, so my top DJs in Denver list, man, were people that I had either listened to when I was going to the clubs, people that I listened to on the radio, Cash One Seven Five coming up and the people that I see working tirelessly every single weekend, you know, feel me? Yeah. The DJ Stax, he's in, he's in Texas now, but he's one of those ones that I felt like was super slept on. He was a part of the Kansas 75 team. He is sick. He's super dope. And he was one of my favorites, obviously DJ Chones. Um, was Symes know, on there too? Yeah, Symes, Sim, Sim. uh, another one, man. Like, that boy stay working, dude. Like, Thanks. he is car shows. And if he's not producing, he's DJing. He's doing local shows. He's doing big shows. He's doing, you know, downtown clubs. Like, you got to respect that man's work, work ethic. You right, feel me? Right. And again, he's another one where me and him didn't always see eye to eye, man. Me and him wasn't always friendly. But I respected what he did, and I recognized, like, yo, man, like, whether I rock with him personally or not, and that was before I even really got to know him, but whether I rock with him personally or not, you got to respect that game. Right, so, right. Symes, for sure. Um, I mean, you know, there's some other ones that are some super dope DJs. Um, uh, Chris Carnes. So, he was on – so, he's like a battle DJ. He He's won a DMC championship. So, people that oh, don't okay, know, yeah. world DMC champions – are like DJ scrap con scratch competitions in the world. He won okay. a world championship. That means in that year, I don't not can't remember what exactly the year it was. He was the baddest DJ scratching in the world, okay. not Colorado in the world. So Chris Conj was on there, and then you know there's a lot of people, man. DJ Alicia B. She's a girl DJ. She's super dope. She got a radio show. She's always working. I definitely give respect to her. Bella Scratch, another female DJ. It's not easy. For girl DJs in this in, the, in this industry, right. so yeah, man, there there's a ton of talent in Colorado. Not only artists but DJs, and they range from everything, man. White boys, Mexican kids, black kids, like everybody, man. And oh, um, you know, you got the legends like we've been talking about, right? Squizzy K Tone, you know, Beds, those guys. They've been doing it for years and years and years. Been on the radio for years. Got mixtapes like national mixtapes. But yeah, there's a lot of DJs also in Denver that really get down, man, and, and and don't necessarily get the huge publicity because some of them don't want it, and some of them aren't trying to be on the radio, dude. They're perfectly happy with rocking a club every single weekend, and that's cool too. I love those DJs. I love right, that right. shit, right. for sure. Okay, dope. Gonna wrap it up. Where can the people find you on social media, Instagram, you know, Twitter? Yeah, man. So best re place, place to reach me right now um, is my DJ page, my Instagram page, DJ Coast 5280, DJ COS 5280 on Instagram, man. Just holler at me there. Artists that want to send me music for my radio show, definitely holler at me there. Um, if you want to book me for a gig, holler at me there. Um, or you can hit my email, man, DJ Coast 303 at Gmail. Same thing, man. Just holler at me for work, for interviews, for music, for shows, or whatever, man. It don't matter, dude. Just I'm all about Colorado coming together, the music scene coming together, hip hop, R&B, shit, even rock music. I don't care if it's dope and it's Colorado. I'ma fuck with it. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, just holler at me there, man. Okay, dope. And then uh, before we leave, man, top. We'll go top three. Colorado rappers of all time and then top three right now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright, top three all time? Yeah. Woo! Alright. And this is your opinion. So. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Alright, so for right for, for all time, man. Um Black Pegasus has been doing his thing for a hot minute. Okay. All right, if you don't know about Black P. Get familiar. Dog. Still on the show. Yeah, Black Pegasus is dope. Trev Rich, he's up there. He's a Grammy nominee. You can't fuck with that, right? Again, you haters can hate all you want. He's Grammy nominated. 
shut up. <laughs> um, and then for me, it's a group, man. Top Flight, dude. Okay. Top Flight, I rock with those guys, dude. They're so dope. They're nice guys. They're funny guys. They make dope music. And right now, like what they're doing with the concert app and everything, oh, yeah. they're putting on for Colorado. So Top Flight is definitely in my top three for sure. So shout out to those three guys as far as all time. Right now, I got to rock with some people that I'm genuinely rocking with as well. And I know the haters are going to say those are his friends, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah. I don't care, man. Mayor of the ACO, my man. Man Al Beast for she's is dope. He's slept on. He's been in the game for a minute. He's got gray in his beard. I don't care. Al Beast is sick, okay? His ability to pick a beat is impeccable and he just bounce, bro. The man's got bounce and he can perform his ass off. He's a Michael Jackson of Colorado hip hop performers, all right? Yeah, okay. um, my man Tucson Lorenz, his ability to just make a hit, right? He makes hit songs, bro. Melodies. The thing about Tucson is, and I always tease him, I call him uh, MC Kimchi. If you've ever had kimchi, you ever had kimchi, like Korean barbecue shit? So it's fermented. I've had Korean barbecue. It's fermented a uh, cabbage. Sounds gross, right? Yeah. The minute you eat it, you're like, ooh, I don't know if I like this. Then by like the fifth piece, you crave it and you have to have it every time you go to a, to a Korean barbecue. That's how Tucson is. Okay. You hear a song the first time, you're like, it's kind of weird. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> yeah. By the tenth time, you are know all the words. Your head's bobbing, and you love Toussaint Lorenz. He's definitely up there. And then my man Riaga, man. Oh look, it's the gang. What he's doing is dope. He's a dope performer. Um, yes, all three guys I rock with. Yes, all three guys <laughs> came to Nebraska with me to open up for Tech Nine. I do not care. All three are dope, and that's why they got to come to Nebraska with me to rock for Tech Nine because they are dope. If you don't know them, get familiar with them because they're sick. Period. Okay. Hell yeah, man. All right, well, shit, this has been a legendary interview. Yeah, thank you, uh, man. I appreciate it. No problem. I appreciate you for coming on. Do you got yeah. any uh, final thoughts, shout outs, last minute things you want to speak on? All right. So shout out to my family, man. First and foremost, my kids, my wife. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all support me every day. Big shouts to y'all. Big shout out to Colorado, man. Denver, the box. I love y'all. Keep rocking. We are next. All right. We don't need to sound like anybody else. Sound like us. We going to be the next ones. I promise you. Uh, shout out to the High Minute, man. Okay, keep rocking. Keep doing what you're doing, man keep keep grinding and showing love to the community to hip-hop community to colorado that's what we need fuck the haters man keep doing what you're doing because i respect it and a lot of people else respect it yeah man, i appreciate it i appreciate it man yeah right. yeah make sure y'all go follow dj coast on everything make sure you hit that like button definitely comment down below if you want to see next in the mile high minute hit that subscribe button hit that bell button to stay notified when all the latest news drops Shout out to sponsor today's video, 3 a.m. Water. Hey! Go get that hydration for the go-getters. I've been hydrated all, all interview. Hell yeah. Let's man. go. <laughs> hey, Maha Minute, number one podcast in yeah. the universe. We out. Appreciate it.